Nate Diaz has achieved tremendous success in his career, both inside and outside of the octagon. As a result, he's been able to enjoy a luxurious millionaire lifestyle. Diaz is known for his love of expensive cars, designer clothes, and lavish vacations. And he's not shy about flaunting his wealth on social media. In today's video, we'll talk about Nate Diaz's net worth and crazy rich lifestyle. Starting off with where he lives. Diaz has been able to accumulate a significant amount of wealth over the years. One way that he has invested his money is by purchasing real estate properties. In addition to his main residence, Diaz is known to own several other properties in various locations. One of the most notable properties in his portfolio is his $430,000 house in Stockton, California, which is located in the United States. This house is likely to be one of the more valuable properties in his portfolio and is likely to be a source of pride for the fighter. However, it's not clear how many other properties Diaz owns, but it is likely that he has a diverse diverse range of investments in real estate, both within the United States and abroad. Next up, let's talk about Diaz's salary. Diaz's exact salary is not publicly disclosed as the UFC does not typically reveal the financial terms of its contracts with fighters. However, it is generally believed that top-level UFC fighters can earn very large salaries, particularly if they're able to consistently perform well and draw a significant number of viewers to their fights. But if we were to guess, we'd say raking in millions of dollars per her fight isn't something new for him. For example, his fight at UFC 202 earned him a whopping $2 million. The most part of it was the fact that he didn't even win the fight, yet he still got that cash like it was nothing. This was also the most money he ever made in a single fight, so that's something as well. Apart from that, Nate Diaz has also earned a significant amount of money by winning the Fight of the Night bonus award eight times, which is the second highest number of post-fight bonuses. In addition to his salary from the UFC, Diaz has also likely earned significant additional income from sponsorships and endorsements, as well as from other sources, such as merchandise sales and public appearances. It is also possible that Diaz has earned income from other sources outside the UFC, such as competing in other mixed martial arts organizations or participating in other forms of professional combat sports. Coming up, then let's talk about his endorsements. Some of the endorsements that Nate Diaz has been associated with include sponsorships from companies such as Reebok, Monster Energy, and Tap Out, all of which are well-known brands in the world of mixed martial arts and combat sports. Apparently, with this deal with Reebok, he earns 20000 for every fight that he appears in endorsing them. It may not seem like much for a guy who earns upwards of $2 million a fight, but it does add up in the end. Diaz has also been featured in advertisements and promotions for various products and services, including clothing, nutritional supplements, and energy drinks. In addition to these endorsements, Diaz has likely also earned income from other sources, such as merchandise sales and public appearances. He has a strong social media presence with millions of followers on platforms such as Instagram, and Twitter, which may also provide additional opportunities for endorsements and sponsorships. What's more are his investments. In addition to his successful career as a mixed martial artist, Nate Diaz has also made a name for himself outside of the octagon through a number of business ventures. One of the most notable of these ventures is his partnership with his brother Nick in the launch of Game Up Nutrition, a company that offers organic and vegan-friendly CBD products. These products include CBD oil, hemp flour, and CBD pre-rolls and the company has gained a reputation for its high quality offerings. Nate has also served as the official spokesperson for Lodi Vintners, a winery based in California. He has been featured in the company's advertisements and has helped to promote its products to a wider audience. In addition to these business ventures, Nate has also likely earned income from other sources such as merchandise sales and public appearances. It is worth noting that Nate has mentioned in interviews that he has other business ventures that provide him with income, which may have contributed to his lack of activity in the UFC in recent years. Despite coming from a humble background, Nate has achieved significant financial success and, as we discussed earlier, he owns a house in his hometown of Stockton, which is valued at around $430,000, so that definitely adds up in his list of investments. Following up, what about cars? He's an athlete. He's got the money and life for it, so what about the cars that he owns? Aside from his social media, we're sure you've taken the impression of how secretive he is about his life. We've really had to dive deep into 
into his life to find details. Yet even we don't think we've got the best picture yet. And same goes for his car collection. Diaz doesn't have the best of collections to his name, but he still has a few notable wheels that can be discussed. For example, he owns a Chevrolet SUV and a Range Rover. Nothing too flashy. In fact, just the bare minimum. But another one that might have some of your interest, especially the younger lot, is the fact that Diaz also owns a Tesla. Not sure if this is a conscious decision to play a part in a clean environment or whether he likes the car itself, it could also be due to the fact that Tesla is one of the world's most important and valuable companies, so he might be pulled toward it for its value, making it another investment of sorts. In the end, there's not much that can be said about the total value of the cars, because we don't have any idea of the specific models or the variants of the cars exactly, but one thing's for sure, the guy isn't really the flashy kind of guy. The likes of which he likes to fight in the Pentagon, we're looking at you, McGregor and Adesanya. Let's now talk about his love life. While Diaz has chosen to keep his personal life private, it's been reported that he is in a romantic relationship with a woman named Misty Brown. Brown is believed to be from Stockton, California, and she's reportedly a supportive and understanding partner to Diaz. She's been spotted at his fights, cheering him on from the sidelines. Despite their relationship, the couple has chosen to keep their connection private and has not shared many details about their personal lives with the public. Keeping this detail in mind, we don't have much idea about whether the two are engaged, married, or even still together, but it's okay to keep it that way if the people that are involved don't want us to get involved. Up next, maybe we can look at how UFC allows fighters like Nate Diaz to flourish in terms of rich lifestyles. As a professional sports league, the UFC pays its fighters for their participation in events, and the specific salary structure for UFC fighters can vary depending on a number of factors. Generally, UFC fighters are paid a base salary for each fight, which can range from a few thousand dollars for low-level fighters to six or seven figures for top-level fighters. In addition to the base salary, fighters may also be eligible to receive bonuses based on their performance in the fight, as well as other factors such as the number of pay-per-view PPV buys generated by the event. These bonuses can significantly increase a fighter's total earnings for a particular event. Other sources of income for UFC fighters can include sponsorships and endorsements, as well as merchandise, sales, and public appearances. Some fighters may also receive a percentage of the revenue generated by the event, such as a cut of the PPV buys or ticket sales. Top-level fighters can earn very large salaries, particularly if they're able to consistently perform well and draw a significant number of viewers to their fights. However, it's unfortunate that lower-level fighters may earn significantly less and may need to supplement their income with other sources of revenue. While Diaz may enjoy enjoy a life of luxury, only the top few, maybe the top three in each division, truly get to enjoy the life of a UFC fighter. This may change soon though, as UFC slowly and gradually is getting recognized all over the world, and especially because the league is not afraid to travel across the globe instead of staying in the West for the most part. A recent example is the venture to the Middle East. Following up, nothing really comes easy in this world. Being one of the most popular fighters in the UFC doesn't come without hardships. Before achieving success and luxury in his career as an MMA athlete, Diaz likely had a more modest upbringing. It is not clear exactly what his life was like before he became a professional fighter, but it is likely that he faced many challenges and worked hard to achieve his goals. It's also a given that the league works on merit more than anything else, especially because viewers pay to watch you and they would never watch someone who's not worth their money. Moreover, Diaz has spoken about his background and the struggles he faced growing up in the past. In an interview with MMA journalist Ariel Helwani, Diaz mentioned that he came from a humble background and that the first thing he did when he signed his first UFC contract was to buy his mother a house and himself a car. He also mentioned that he was raised in a rough neighborhood and had to overcome a number of obstacles in order to just succeed in his career. Finally, what is Diaz's net worth? As we mentioned multiple times over the course of this video, Diaz has been able to make quite a lot for himself in terms of a name as well as fortune. His overall net worth, however, may surprise you. Standing at $8 million, it doesn't seem like much given that he's one of the most popular fighters in the UFC. But again, this net worth is nothing but guesswork and estimates and not an official figure. So it could be much higher than this, or maybe even lower. But our findings put it around $8 million for now. That's a wrap for this video. What do you think about Nate Diaz's lifestyle? Who else do you want us to talk about? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more
more videos like this. See you at the next one.